back live on Falcons Television with Aspie. Thank you, Marty. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, Aspie, uh, I think the story of the day, I'm safe in saying, was your pitching. Well, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe it's because the second game which I played in uh, was slightly more uh, competitive than the first game. Uh, but still, I think the Falcons' power and the strong batting lineup uh, uh, proved to be too difficult for us to handle. Well, you as a pitcher, though, I don't think. Uh, I mean, am I right in saying you had six Ks today, six strikeouts today for Aspie in, in one of the strongest teams in, in Division I uh, against the Falcons? Um, you blew me away with a nasty slider. Uh, you got Jay a couple of times, I think. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think you got Jay twice in one at bat. He got lucky with a check swing. But you had six strikeouts. You almost struck out our entire side. And uh, this is probably the fastest, hardest throwing uh, pitching we faced all year. Everybody was on the sidelines talking about Aspie's heater today. And uh, the curveball, which was nasty. So that's the story of the day, really. I, I think, um, you know, there's, there's talk in our locker room about getting Aspie over to the Falcons rather than the Hawks, as, as dedicated as he may be to that cause. Uh, we think we're going to have him uh, have him up with us throwing because he throw harder than anybody on the Falcons. Well, thank and you were throwing strikes. Thanks very much. It's uh, really nice. I don't know how much of this uh, complimentary business is uh, messing around with me and how much is uh, no serious, messing around. Uh, this is serious analysis, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And, uh, and, uh, there there just, goes another Dimitrov <laughs> just passed there. There's a pregnant one. Yeah, thanks, Cal. Uh, but uh, with regards to me being uh, pulled up from the Hawks uh, to the Falcons, I don't know about that because the Hawks management, they value me very highly. I think they're going to ask a pretty high price. I mean, I don't know if the Falcons are ready to, to pay that kind of cash. And what's the Hawks, Hawks record so far this year? So far, including today's two losses, uh, two wins, four losses. Oh, you two and I tell you what, I, you know, I, I, I have to say that the, I think the, you know, the two loss, the, the two wins, and you guys almost pulled out that second game today, and we were all nervous in the bottom of the third or so. It was still two-two, mm -hmm. and nobody was hitting you. Uh, yep. Obviously, second time, third time around, yep. we got to see some of the pitches and so forth, but nobody was hitting you, and we were all panicking a little bit because a lot of trash talk been going on. <laughs> we knew we had to win this game. But by the same token, we were all sort of shitting ourselves. And uh, you know, I think there, there, there are two wins, as I understand it, from the stats and so forth. You were leading the team in, certainly in ERA. Um, I think Larry was leading uh, in ERA prior to today, so... Uh, but okay, that'll change, that'll we'll yeah. change now. Well, after, after the we'll first see, game. we'll see, yeah, yeah. we'll see. And, uh, and batting. You were leading the team, I think. Um, I think Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete it was a, a big, big loss. Big loss today. We, um, well, the kid was struggling with his shoulder. He's been out for three weeks now. So um, I think his dad decided um, he would he would have been here actually today, even being injured. Yeah, yeah. But he decided not to bring him because he's a young kid, anxious to play, and it's too difficult to keep him on the sidelines. But it's better for his arm. We keep him strong for the rest. of the When year. do you expect him back? Because well, he's a hell of a pitcher. He's, he's, I think, our best prospect uh, for the whole club, not just for the Hawks, but for the Falcons as well. Uh, he's only 16. Yep. He's been throwing the ball hard. He watches baseball. He's uh, learning every day. Uh, he's, he's a great kid. And um, uh, with regards to when he's coming back, I really cannot tell because as far as I know, um, Jake, his father, they really don't know what the diagnosis is yet. Uh, so we're hoping, we're hoping it's just um, some sort of a muscle pull which will hopefully fix itself with some rest, but we don't know yet for sure. We haven't, um, well, we'll try and get uh, the best uh, doctors uh, to have a look at Pete because he's the, the ace of the team. He's the ace of the team. He's, he's, he's the future of the, of the Falcons the future and, and the Hawks. The future and there's been talk about calling him up to the Falcons on an off day for the Hawks yep. to see if he's, uh, if he's ready for that. I think they'll, um, they'll be great for the kid because um, the Falcons, they're made of seasoned professionals like yourself. <laughs> Uh, who, got, so who got, by the way, whiffed bad? <laughs> you may be look ugly out there. <laughs> All right, well, slider. I'll mention it again. Thank, thank you, Marty. Well, uh, I think it will be a good thing for, for um, Pete to um, get some action with the, with the Falcons. 
Um, and as you said, he's the future of uh, half a chip baseball. Well, we've had a great day. I mean, everything weather-wise has been great. Uh, the kids are out now playing softball. You can see them behind us. Um, two very competitive baseball games. The second game, I think, was even even with our loss to Shropshire, was probably the hardest fought game we've had. And uh, you know, thanks to Aspie Dimitrov for organizing everything, getting the pizzas in. We got beers. We got everything. And uh, it, it's mainly down to this guy right here. Marty, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure being here. And just want to mention one thing. First game got out of hand a little bit, but Larry, don't worry. We didn't help you enough in the field. It's partly my fault. Don't worry. We need you next week. Make sure you're there. The defense let Larry down a little bit. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, I he didn't pitch a bad game. I mean, he pitched a, oh, he Larry's pitched a good game. Oh, Larry's our ace. Larry's our ace. We love him to bits. No, no. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good, good pitcher. He's got a lot of savvy on him now. He's not over overpowering anymore. You know, he's obviously he's getting on a little bit further. I think the size. older he gets, the slower his stuff gets. Yeah. He gets more movement on oh, it. He got me way out in front. Yeah, yeah he's, he's effective. Yeah. He's effective for sure. And he's a great guy and, and he's a great sportsman. We love him. We love Larry and uh, we need him back. Ask me to meet you off, everybody. Thank you much. Thank you. Thank you. Good work, man. Thank you. We're back live on Falcons Television with uh, second year Hawk. Steve Nipper. Hi, thank Thanks, you. Steve. Thanks for having me. Not at all. Uh, you had a good game today. Thank you very much. One yes. For, one for two. Yep. Um, a bit nice little play out in right field. Yep. But, but a shame about that uh, side missed that catch, but you know, that's part of life, isn't it? it well, where the sun comes in uh, late in the day and, and it, you get a couple of bad hops out there, I mean, I'm, uh, you know, I just really screwed one up myself on uh, right field. It's part of life, isn't it? Isn't it? But it's been a hell of a day. Yes. Everybody's enjoying themselves. And, yep. Uh, I noticed you hit the ball very, very hard. Then. Thank you. Yes, it's. So, what do you put that down to? Uh, I put that down to just personally, I have a small bat at home and just go down to the local gym. They've got squash courts there and just practice swinging away. Okay. Just, like, pretend imaginary ball. There's the ball, swing away. Yeah. It's not a problem. Uh, the guys at the gym they don't mind me using the squash court for practice as long as I don't damage the ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with, a proper, yeah. with a proper ball. But yeah, that's just, um, that's just how I'm getting on. and. Uh, also using the squash courts for practicing catching and everything else. Oh, good. So, yeah. It's, uh, excuse me. I need my agent on the phone. Is that your agent? Yeah, one minute. Hello? You bear with us. Uh, Steve's agent's on the phone, obviously. Yeah. They've been watching. They're no, no, I do not wish to sign for the Kansas City Royals. It's the Cubs. It's the Royals. It's got to be the Cubs, okay? The Royals, yeah. Never. Get, uh, get the Cubs. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry. I do apologize. That's it. Uh, as well, uh, you know, a lot of people out there don't know that uh, Steve, not only second year Hawk and right fielder extraordinaire and big, big bat in the lineup, uh, Steve's also a, a chef. He's the, the Gordon Ramsay of Hertfordshire baseball. <laughs> I wish. And what's your signature dish? Oh, my signature dish is, well, I would probably say, say is uh, a rump of lamb with a puy lentil and baby vegetable dish with a light mint jus, flavored jus. And for, uh, uh, I'd probably say my favorite dessert would be the old uh, Alaskan, like, baked Alaska. Ah, baked Alaska. Okay. So how come, uh, Steve, in that case, we had to order pizza today? Yes, I did actually uh, speak to somebody else about doing a barbecue and everything else, but um, I contacted the suppliers about it, but they just didn't want to know. They said, no, well, we don't want to really supply for a baseball team, which I'm very disappointed in, so I'm very sorry. Well, they're gonna, they're gonna, they just lost their, they're, they're gonna supposed to lose their contract with us Yeah. Next time, yeah. We'll I'll get Next time we'll, yeah, we'll get a little barbecue going and uh, Sorry, go away we go, steaks, yeah, sausages, like... burgers, you name well, it. Are you happy, you happy with the way the, fa the, the, sorry, the Hawks are, uh, are, are moving forward? And yes, I'm very happy progress. that we are moving forward. Last year we played good. I do feel we are playing a lot, lot better this year. Yeah. But um, uh, you, you know, you, Your record is not necessarily reflective of the way you're playing. You played some tough teams, including the Falcons today, which is obviously you know, front runners in the division. Uh, it was always going to be some tough games for you. But you guys, you know, our whole bench was very, very nervous around about the fourth inning of that second game when it was 2-2 and Aspie was throwing as well as he was. And you guys were really hitting the ball well. Louis, Louis is a great pitcher. He's the ace of our staff now. And um, you guys were catching up with him. And, and a lot of his curveballs weren't really fooling you all that much. He, he bared down toward the end. And we got a chance to see Aspie two, three times. So we started getting the ball a little bit. But other than that, you know, you guys kept it very, very tight, and you know, both of the games were a lot closer. 
than all the trash talk would indicate. Well, I don't believe in any sort of trash talk. It's on the day, it's on the field. That's where it counts. That's right. That's where it all counts to me. Uh, forget trash talk. You know, all these gossip columns you get in newspapers and everything else. No, it's on the field, it's on the day. That's how I class it. And I've always classed it on that. Well, well done. That is uh, Hawks right fielder and chef, Steve Nibbles. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good.